how to buy and sell real estate for financial freedom. I'm Laurel Langmire. I'm a millionaire in real estate. I love real estate. So we have a lot to talk about. Do you want an investment or do you actually want to be in an active business is the question that no one asks except for me. So today I want to talk about three things specifically. I want to talk about that differentiation between having real estate as an investment versus doing it as a business. And then number two, the strategies that are going to yield you the best result given the market you're in. And number three, all the misconceptions that you're going to see on TV. Because TV, as Dr. Phil told me when I was on a show, Laurel, you care more about educating the entertainment TV is all entertainment and if you really get it you're getting a lot of bad information from TV all right let's begin what's the differentiation between owning a business in real estate and having it as investment so I actually started in the business of real estate I got pregnant in 1999 Hmm, knew I'd be a single mom, said, I gotta become a millionaire, I gotta do it fast. And I already knew how to make money. I was spending a ton of money, probably like a lot of you. And I said, it's time to strike that check. So I struck $25,000 check, hired the best real estate mentor, much older, and joined his team. Probably the best thing I ever did because in six months became a millionaire. So he taught me how to raise capital. He taught me how to structure the deal. But we were in the streets of Oklahoma City. We were in Norman, Oklahoma. We were all over Oklahoma, Arkansas markets, buying, flipping, selling. We would buy blocks. We bought huge volumes of carpet. Pretty much lived there mostly during my pregnancy. So I'd say Oklahoma clearly is my millionaire market and still have real estate there. I love that market. I love the Midwest market. Why? Because you can always force up appreciation. So I started in the business of real estate. In fact, by 2004 and five, I was in 29 markets. I was doing lease options, subject twos. I was flipping. Uh, we were doing large apartments. We were jamming. Thank God we got out because then 2006, 7, 8 started, you know, rolling around and I started doing my millionaire maker book work. So the first thing is, do you want to be in business or do you just want to be passive? Because there isn't really a spot right in between, right? You're either going to be a note holder, which is what I am now. I'm primarily an investor or I am a hard money lender to other people making anywhere between 12 and 15 percent of my money, borrowing them money, either sharing profits or bringing it back. So I'm in a very active investor standpoint, but last time I've been to the streets is a long time ago. So it depends how you want to do it. I actually started in the streets day to day was active in real estate. I did not get my license. You don't have to have a license to become an investor. You can just put money together. You can put projects together. I did learn a lot about accredited status, how to do PPMs, how to put all that together and then flipped and said, okay, I've had that experience. I'm moving on. I started doing businesses and other things. So what is your strategy? Put it in the comment section below. I'd like to know, are you here because you want to invest in real estate, which means you're going to learn how to assess other people's projects, or are you going to bring the projects to market and look for investors? Which side of that conversation do you want to sit on? If you want to be wealthy, everyone has some form of real estate in their portfolio. So what are the strategies to yield the most result in your market? Well, it depends. And I'm down to zip codes when I talk about this, because it, there is so so many people still moving inland from the pandemic. I don't care what you say, California, New York, New Jersey, they're still moving in and down to Florida, Texas, Idaho is still getting a ton of movement. We're here in Nevada, we get a ton of movement. So it depends on your market. It also depends, are you in an area where Airbnbs or short-term rentals are gonna thrive? And will your city, county, state and HOAs allow it? There are a lot of people shutting that down because the long-term residents don't want in and out weekend visitors in their neighborhood. They wanna have a sustainable neighborhood. So just check all that out. See what you really want to do. That's a very active, higher cash flow, clearly with Airbnbs and short term rentals. If you go the long term, you know the deal. You're going to have more TIs, which are tenant improvements. You're going to have more turnover in the property, meaning you're probably going to have to do all the repaint and recarpet. Again, TIs are just going to be bigger, but you have sustainable rent, less cash flow. Depends what you want, depends how you want to buy, or you just want to go to big apartments. So I have some partners. We started in all of those conversations and strategies that I told you, and now we're just doing big apartments apartments and long-term rentals. That's all we're doing now in that one market. I have Airbnbs in the Ozarks. Very cool. The Red Knock Riviera, we call it. It's a very cool place to have very, very high cash flow to Airbnbs. So what is the strategies? Now, right now, I want to stop for a second. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification button. I want you here five days a week. I'm here for you and your family.
family to learn a lot. I'm going to be continuing conversations in business, finance, how you get your kids financially literate. But I want to give you several chapters of my real estate is leverage. So when I became a millionaire in real estate, one of the first things I did is I wrote how I did it. I wrote all the possible strategies you could pick. How do you put it together? How do you put the corporations together? Who should be the team? I wrote a complete eight hour course on how I did it and how you could do it as well. So I'm going to give you a few of those chapters, engage and read on. If you ever want to talk to our strategists on our team to say, hey, I want to be a real estate millionaire like Laurel was, then call our office, set up a strategy call. We'll do a gap analysis and see where you want to start. Whether you want to be on the, I want to be active side. I have amazing real estate coaches that will teach you how to be active. Or if you just want to be like I am, an investor. But it is very different positions and very different postures, very different returns, very different expectations of what's required of you and your family to acquire financial freedom. So at any time, if you have questions, go to askworld.com. And again, I want you here five days a week. Make sure you pre-order my journal. It's in the link below. We started a brand new YouTube journal for pre-orders. So you can click on the link. It'll be available by the end of August, 2023. You'll be able to grab this. And the last thing I want to say about strategies is you definitely want to talk to our corporate structure team. When you really build out a great portfolio in the business of real estate, you're going to own probably a property development company. Then you're going to have an active construction rehab company. You might have a hulk like company to haul junk away because a lot of the properties you're going to acquire are going to have so much stuff in them. You can either hire 1-800-GOT-JUNK or the Holloway teams who are going to charge you by the pounds. Very lucrative. So just own the company yourself. Potentially cleaning companies because you're gonna have to clean the properties. Staging companies, you may think about it. Be very careful on TV. And if I'm you, it's what I do anyway. Go local, like go to your local title companies. You go to your local real estate companies. Who actually is the investors? Who's the best brokers? Who actually are the players in your valley, in your zip code, in your area? People know who the players are when you get to the real estate markets. Who's actually buying, selling, who has the money, who actually has influence, who knows how to get the best deals done. So if you have any questions at any point, go to askworld.com. Love to help you become a real estate millionaire. It's a total path to financial freedom, and I hope you choose to take it. So again, askworld.com, ask a question, make a request, and we'll talk tomorrow.